All right, hello football gamers. Welcome back to Madden Football Gaming. Today I'm gonna show you how to torch cover two man. Can be a super, super annoying defense to play against. It plays zigs uh, really well sometimes, plays drags, ins, outs, slants, uh, crossers, things like that. It plays a little bit under, but pretty close to it. So if you don't make a perfect pass, it picks it off. And even sometimes when you do, I feel like that uh, um, that cornerback is going to react and cut it underneath or something like that and pick it off sometimes. So it can be super hard to play against. And the two over-the-top safeties play out of their mind. Like they come down and play corner routes, a whole bunch of different routes that they just get in on at crossers that you don't even like. They, they just come in and they, they take that away. Uh, even if you have a streak on the field, as soon as you throw it, they'll react, right? Like it is a super, super kind of ridiculous defense, right? And if you don't know how to beat it, you can really struggle against it. Of course, there's the normal things like drags and zigs and ins and outs and stuff like that, but if that doesn't work every single time with Madden's new AI. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I'm going to show you stuff that works every single time for big plays and a one play touchdown uh, in there as well. So there's three things that I'm going to be covering, okay? We are in the Green Bay Packers playbook for offense. And you don't have to be in this. The, the, the routes that I'm going to show you, the things I'm going to show you, you can bring over to pretty much any other offense that you have. These are not like things only found in Green Bay. Um, you can make these uh, in any other playbook. They, they may even have the same exact plays most likely. So, uh, But well, the first thing I'm going to start with is uh, one of my favorite formations this year, and that's Trips Tight End. I really like this formation. It's easy to tell if your opponent's in man or zone uh, right off of the bat because um, of the three wide receivers located on the left-hand side. Um, and if you watch another video, you can torch uh, cover four palms with this if they have match defense on. There's just so many cool things you can do really, really easily out of this. And if they do base alignment when you have three wide receivers over there, they're missing something, right? You can quick snap this for easy yards. So I do like this. Um, but anyways... The first play that we're going to show you is PA shot wheel and the uh, formation that we're going to be going over, over is 3-3 three, three cub and it's um, uh, cover two man, obviously. All right. Sorry. I had to respot the ball. We were too close. Anyway, so what we're looking at is Jay Jettis on that specific wheel route. A lot of people have talked about like uh, um, wheel routes from the, uh, the halfback, things like that. Yeah. If they're playing underneath. Right, if they're playing man coverage shaded underneath, wheel routes for the uh, running back do work as well. But I'm showing you this specific stock play that you want to use. It's got a crosser um, on there too. You could do something with the outside receiver, like put them on a drag or put them on a streak or whatever you want to motion them over. It doesn't matter. What we're looking at is Jay Jettis real quick, and I'm going to block the running back so we don't have that uh, um, play action. But just watch his route. So he totally torches it wide open wide open for a, uh, a huge game there, right? So that's just, and this is pretty much every single time. I can run this, and again, the AI is never going to stop this. Um, it's just every single time it gets behind him, and then it just gets in front of him. That's like the worst animation that I've seen, uh, and it's still got in front of him. Again, I can run this uh, for another 30 times if I want to, and Jay Jettis is going to be open every single time. It's not even like it's it's not even a question. He's definitely going to be open every single time. So I'll do it one more time. Show you real quick, and then we're going to move on to the next. I don't want this to be a super long video. I just want to show you, right? So every single time he's wide open, that's like the best animation, but even the worst animation right before that, he gets wide open. So now, uh, first of all, that last one, that um, wheel route, you can run it out of other uh, plays as well. Let me just show you another play here. So Trey Wyoff. So Trey Wyoff has this, uh, where is it? There you go. Switch wide receiver drag, right? So you can do that. And again, come out and cover two man. And uh, I like to block the running backs. It doesn't matter. But this Shannon Sharp route, this wheel route right here, again, gets wide open. Same principle, wide open. Um, so you can, you can use this out of any playbook that you have, out of any formation really, um, for those types of wheels, right? It's got to be a pretty deep wheel. It can't be just like a quick one. Um, it can't be verticals. I haven't seen verticals work um, with this, but I have seen these ones work, again, pretty much every single time. 
And uh, again, that's a tight end with you know 85 speed going against someone with a, with like 86 speed. So, so that was just showing you that you can use that out of any other plays, anything like that. Look in your playbook that you use. Look in the formation that you use. Find those, and that's going to torch it, absolutely torch cover two man. All right. So that's one. The next play I want to show you back in trips tight end. No, and I want to show you verticals, right? I'm going to motion it over to the wide side on purpose, right? I want, just want you to see that that's what we want to do is we want to put them on the wide side if you're using this trips. Here's the deal. Again, you can use this out of any formation, but this corner route that Shannon Sharp is on, since he's the only receiver on the left-hand side of the screen, that deep zone is going to cover him. Right, so if we leave Jay Jettis on there, eventually he'll that that deep zone will come back for him. But um, we're just going to put him on like a drag, and that's going to completely get that deep zone out of the way, right? And uh, again, they react crazily, but we're kind of using this against against them here, and we're going to block the running backs. Need a little bit of time to do this, and this is practice mode, right? So sheds are crazy, but I'm still going to show you this is this is going to be pretty easy. Hester and Hyatt are going to be on the same route. They're stocks route. You see how Hester's goes a little bit in? Well, that's going to keep, um, well, so there's a fade that Hyatt's on and then Hester's a little bit in. So that other zone is going to be a little bit between them. And what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to pass lead this right up into the left for Hester. And uh, you don't have to lob it, right? Bullet pass it, pass lead it into the left. And this should be a one play touchdown for you um, right there. And you just catch and rack it, and then you're off to the races, right? So, again, that is uh, <laughs> really good, really good secondary, and I can do this every single time, right? I'm going to motion it over, and I'm going to um, put Jay Jettis on a drag, and I'm just going to be looking for Hester. I'm going to pass lead this inside with a bullet pass, and he's just going to be off to the races, right? So. One play touchdown against it every single time. They'll have to get out of it um, if you're running this play. All right, the next play I want to show you is bunch strong offset. Um, most playbooks have this in there right now. Most major playbooks, uh, but even if you don't, you don't need you don't need bunch strong offset. You can use any other bunch. What I'm going to be showing you is this corner strike um, right there, and we're going to be going against cover two man. And this corner, this specific corner, I want you to watch this real quick as uh, what happens here, right there. So he gets wide open right there. You can throw that. That's similar to last year a little bit. If you remember um, how the, that, that would play, those little in routes beat man two. And see, like that is a huge, huge little jump. Again, it depends on the animation, but each time it's open, right? Just depends on how, how badly he beats him. But like that is just, it's like clockwork every single time. Um, that's now I tried doing a, uh, um, uh, getting a outside apprentice on Hyatt and recreating that out of a different um, formation. And it's not the same corner, right? So that's the specific corner you're looking for. If you look for the hot routed one, see how it looks different? It's got a, multi, it's got a little hitch in it. It does not work as good, right? They stay on them way, 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 way better. It just does not work as good, okay? So that corner route is that third route, that stock one that I wanna show you because it's super, super, super good. And again, that corner that they're, that it's on right now is like one of the best man coverage, if not the best man coverage uh, cornerback in the game. So that's just totally, totally smoking him, right? And if you catch this, you might be able to make one person miss and, and house that as well. So anyways, those are just quick routes to beat cover two man consistently every single time. Some for one play touchdowns, but definitely for big yardage. You'll be able to move the ball down the field easy. Um, and there's just too many things for your uh, opponent to guard. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please do like and subscribe if this helped you out. It helps me out so much. Thank you so much. Good luck out there, fellas. Talk to you later.